Hello, thank you very much for joining us. This is the Conrado Show, where we discuss issues of purpose, passion, and power. On this show, we let you, especially the young people, get to know that this life that has been given to all of us is for a purpose. There is a reason God created you and me. And you need to go through life and explore it, get to know it, and discover yourself, and be able to also live it passionately, live life with passion and also tap into God's power that he has given to you. That is what we are exploring. And today, we are bringing you an interview, an up close, with a clinical psychologist to get to know the world of clinical psychology, what, what, what it means, and also what they do as psychologists, and how you, too, can be conscious of certain things in your life. We'll be back after this break. Hope, hope for the community, hope for Ghana, our beloved country, hope for Africa and hope for the world. With four years of training through seating for lectures and getting the grades, you will develop competence and big hearts to save lives. Our BSc nursing program is uniquely designed with conviction, character, compassion, creativity, and community, with a keen focus on information technology and entrepreneurship to equip you bring hope to clients. We are Heritage Christian College. Our nursing program is accredited by Ghana Tertiary Education Commission and Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana. We are recruiting now. Heritage Christian College, a university educating compassionate entrepreneurial leaders. Welcome back. This show is sponsored by the Conrado Group and also Heritage Christian University College. My guest today is a senior psychologist at the Trust Hospitals Limited and a consulting psychologist for the Ghana Education Service National Assessment and Resource Center for Children with Disability and Special Educational Needs. He's a graduate from the University of Ghana and holds a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and philosophy, and also an MPhil in clinical psychology. He is also a professional teacher with over 12 years of teaching experience from the basics, basic to tertiary levels. He has delivered speeches and presentations at churches, corporate institutions with professional bodies on positive thinking, stress management, and related mental health topics across the country. Welcome, my guest, Eric Hosu Komi. My very good friend. How are you? I'm doing great, comrade. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing too? Very well, too. So let's start. Um, first of all, who is a clinical psychologist? Um, so I will answer who a psychologist is first. First of all. Okay, so good. That, uh, so a psychologist is uh, a behavior scientist. Mm. He's someone who understands human behavior. Yeah. And the mental processes, the emotional connections and then the thing the human being does. Okay. Basically. And so there's so many fields or specialties in psychology. Okay. And then the clinical is the aspect that deals with conditions, mental conditions I and see. let me say disorders. So the pattern of the behavior that is not going the way it should be. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Exactly. So it could be a mental pattern that yeah. is not going the right way could be a behavior like you smoking, uh -huh. drinking, uh -huh. the way that shouldn't be, or you been having sex the way it shouldn't be, I see. Okay. or you picking things up, yeah. that acts yeah. like yeah. stealing yeah. Yeah. the way yeah. you are performed. Then we can also talk about the emotional stuff, like mm -hmm. depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. and, and so any behavior that is not going the way it should go, okay. that's where the clinical psychologist comes in. I see, I see. So, um, in your normal practice, uh, what are some of the um, this, the conditions that you come across in your practice? Uh, from where I sit, uh, 
mostly we see through depression. Depression okay. is a condition that affects a person thinking, okay. his feelings, and even their mood. Mm. So typically thinking, they, they sometimes think of their food and think they are not worthy or yeah. important. Mm. And then their emotions, most of their time, they are feeling sad, some people are feeling guilty, some are feeling anxious. Then the behavior, they become withdrawn, they become very withdrawn. Some begin to use drugs yeah. and alcohol. Then some also begin to um, um, stop doing the activities that they enjoy doing a lot. Oh. So if the person loves football, yeah. watching football, you put the, his best player yeah. on the TV and he still not watch. <laughs> I see. Some will not even eat, they will not sleep. So it affects this behavior. Yeah. Yeah. So we call it uh, depression. Then we also see a lot of anxiety related conditions. So some of them are social anxiety or performance anxiety. Others are also post traumatic stress disorder, which is common when people are involved in trauma, you know, like an accident or drowning, fire, or even rape. Mm. Or, wow. uh, yes, or when a building collapsed, yeah. or what happened at the PT, and yeah, yeah. this gas for instance with explosions, yeah, yeah. and then the twin disaster at, at, at a circle, yeah, yeah. I think in, in, in April. Yeah, no, June, so, June 3 disaster. Yeah, so, yeah. Those are some of the conditions we see. Apart from that, we also take of other behavior from things like learning disorders. Okay. Okay. So sometimes we think the child is not, we use the word is blockheaded or yeah, doesn't yeah. know anything. Yeah. But sometimes there are impediments yeah. that's preventing them from assessing the full capacity I see. to learn. So when a child is hyperactive mm-hmm. or he has inattention mm. challenges, he will not be able to focus on whatever the teacher is telling mm. him. And so that will prevent him from excelling, yeah. and then we think it's not good. Yeah. Then there are also family issues, marital discord. Yeah. So sometimes even the personality of the two people who are involved mm-hmm. in the marriage mm-hmm. are so different, <laughs> distant that they are always crashing or having <laughs> conflict. Yeah. And it's because they don't understand each other's personality. I see. So when these things happen, we come in mm-hmm. and help them to understand who they are. Yeah. Okay. That personality is is is. You in a way that you cannot change yeah. drastically. You mm-hmm. need a lot of effort. So you need people to understand what you are going through in order to be able to move from one angle to yeah. the other. Wow. So if you ask me that, what I would say the clinical side is that. I see. But how different um, is your profession from medicine, from normal counseling as we go for marriage counseling and also with the pastors as well, then also psychiatry? Okay, so basically, um, I would generally medicine um, is uh, they go they are doctors. Yeah. They go through medicine. They look at the physical mm-hmm. anatomy of the human mm-hmm. being. Mm-hmm. They also look at the mental yeah. and all other things. Okay, and then they, they prescribe medication yeah. and they do all that. Yeah. But the psychologist basically can be a medical doctor who has trained additionally in psychology I see. to become a specialist in that field. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for the psychology, it can always go beyond what you already are. Yeah. Because it's a specialist. I see. But when it comes to the psychiatrists mm-hmm. and the psychologists, they are all mental health professionals, mm-hmm. so special mm-hmm. But the psychiatrist is a trained medical doctor who has also trained uh, and then who has been trained in mental health. Oh, I see. As his specialist. Mm-hmm. So they can handle the physical conditions and then of the, the mental, mental and stuff as well. I see. While the psychologist may not be a medical doctor, yeah. but has been trained in That's mental health. I see. Too. I see. Do you use medications as well as a clinical psychologist? No. no. Okay. The, the training in Ghana doesn't allow the clinical psychology to use medication. I see. Yes, it doesn't. So what do you do? Not, basically, we talk. <laughs> so talk we call is, it so the talk, talk therapy. Ah, talk okay. therapy. And then we also train people to be able to adapt to different ways of doing things. I see. And as part of the therapy, we teach people how to reverse or restructure their thinking Whoa. by using things that they can practice and get results. Wow. So, is for instance, it possible? Yes, it's very possible because nobody is what they are today when they came into this world. Oh, Almost really? everything they are today, we, we learned it. it. Uh, so we can unlearn them. Hey. Okay, so some people <laughs> learn their behavior through conditioning. Yeah. Okay, so at home, for mm-hmm. instance, 
you are not talking, you are shy in public because you are not allowed to talk when in the house. adults are talking. Yeah. Yours is to keep quiet and listen. So that that's very common in our culture. Over the years, yeah. it affects your life. Mm -hmm. Then also, we also learn by observation. Yeah. So I've learned that my father is always screaming at my mm. mother. And I've also learned that. So yeah. I think screaming <laughs> is a way to. Woman is a normal thing. <laughs> and yeah. so it begins to, to create problems, problems in my yeah. life. Yeah. Then you have to help it and learn that behavior. Mm. Hey, you can help us to unlearn. Yes, you can unlearn. Hey, then I have to come and see you so that we, I can unlearn a lot of things. <laughs> but how, how successful is that? Do you always get a 100% you know, success. And so I get more than 90%. I see. Um, and then apart from what you just said, yeah, there are also specialized training. So there are some of the conditioning that you need extra training to, to be able to attend to them. Oh, so as a fresh you the psychologist, psychologist yes. needs more training. It happens training. in every field, my brother. I see. In every field, you can, uh, when, you start, when you start a media, media. <laughs> you're not doing everything. Yeah, exactly. So for yeah. you, even though it's a, it's a bigger yeah. area, so psychology is a very, clinical psychology is huge. Oh, really? It's huge. I so see. some people have specialized in treating anxiety, others yeah. with depression. I or see. Basically, some specialize in treating the mood mm. condition. Others also specialize in treating behavior conditions like alcoholism yeah. and drug abuse yeah. and other like uh, uh, maybe uh, conditions like uh, you not uh, there's some people call uh, kleptomania yeah behavior You're uh, still, still like still in terms of naturality <laughs> uh, so some people specialize in these areas really yes and then there are those who also decide to specialize in the learning disorder because there are a lot of them there are mm. a lot of um, psychological condition. I see. Learned. I know of dyslexia. Dyslexia, <laughs> yes. So that's a learning <laughs> disorder. So I see. Language production. I see. And then uh -huh. and that. Yeah, because it's around language. So yes. I also need uh -huh. So yeah. somebody may specialize in that. I see. And then treat those kind of conditions. Yeah, yeah. Um, stammering. Is it part of the things you put in? The... Yes, yes. So you do a bit so, of speech therapy so, sometimes. So, so, there are specialists in that. Yes. So what happens is that when the psychologist is able to diagnose that your condition is because you are stammering. Uh, and it wasn't physiological. If it's physiological. Maybe you learned it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some can learn it. So yeah. the role here is to identify everything around the condition. Then the so environment, okay. The environmental, the yeah. biological, yeah. and then whether there are some chemical components okay. to your condition. Then he's able to isolate if it's physical and he's not able then have a skill, mm -hmm. it refers to someone who has a skill. I see. So if I see someone with a speech difficulty mm -hmm. and I'm able to diagnose, I will refer him to the, the speech the therapist, therapist okay. to support in the treatment. But I the see. other things I can do uh -huh. will be help the person change his environment yeah, yeah, yeah. and then recondition his thinking about his condition. I see. Time. Then the speech therapist will also use his skills yeah. to help so that the person yeah. gets yeah. holistic. Yeah. I see. Um, so, what, 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 what training does one need in order to become a clinical psychologist like you? Is there any special school you have to go to? <laughs> in Ghana, in, yes, so in Ghana, mm. you need to have a first degree in psychology. Okay. And sometimes in nursing. Okay. And then if you have a degree in medicine too. It's so also a requirement. Okay. So after that, then you go for the, the master's program. You have to do a master's to do a master's program. And currently, it's a, it's a two year master's program, mostly an MPhil. An MPhil. Uh, mm. When we started. But now, other, I think other universities in Ghana are also pursuing it. So Legon pursues the clinical psychology. Mm. And then I think in Cape Coast, they do clinical health psychology. I see. Okay. So How would that one combine? be different? So, <laughs> so, I see. So, as psychology grows, yeah. we are getting bigger and bigger, and more specialties are developing. Okay. So, the difference between the clinical psychology and then the health psychology is the health psychology looks at the health setup and then how they are able to help people in normal health condition to manage their health condition. Oh, so okay. for instance, someone is hypertensive, mm -hmm. but he's not taking his medication. Yeah, yeah. Or he believes some um, power somewhere. Yeah, uh, in controlling it. Yeah. So his job is to help that person. Oh, okay. To, then they also look at the dynamics in the health sector, how it is helping people to get treatment. Uh huh. 
to help tell us about them. that so for instance mm -hmm. you go to the hospital and then you sit the whole day oh and that makes somebody sick oh but well, there are individuals who cannot bear that the that the alone. exactly the when they get there yeah. they get sicker <laughs> and then some people when you ask them to check their bp it's over the roof i see and so yeah, they yeah. help the facility ah. to design a system say that certain people just come and then they yeah. get treatment yeah. 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 yeah then those who are admitted to they support them yeah with social support i see and then provide some guidance how to, mm. how to process the yeah. even they even support people to process their diagnosis especially for uh, strange and um, include strange conditions like or conditions what? that we are all scared most people are scared of Cancers, okay, me, okay. Uh, conditions. if you get such, if you are diagnosed of that, yes, somehow I will able to take of course, yeah, 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 they are there to support this yeah. process. I see, the, I see, I see. Tell us about your journey personally into psycho clinical psychology. <laughs> I I am quite young, oh, but I fear <laughs> you are my senior <laughs> at the university. <laughs> So, so you can't say so, on my show that you are quite young. So, so it, it started quite long. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I heard about psychology and mental stuff mm -hmm. was when I was in secondary school. Okay. So, where, where did you school? Back home, secondary technical school. Oh. In the motor room. Okay. My former region. By then. <laughs> yes. Perhaps By then, I used to fall sick a lot. Really? Yes. Even right from. Basic school, yeah. primary school, I used to fall sick a lot. Mm. And I thought I was a sickler. Okay. By then, not much rigorous examinations had are done uh, to determine this person is a sickler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, in my mind, I was a sickler. And I, I see. my common sickness is malaria. And <laughs> then, back then, there wasn't a um, test to treat the uh, malaria. You just oh, okay. go and then with your symptoms, uh -huh. you are treated. I Unlike see. now, test have to and test treat. Exactly. Yeah. So, anytime I go, I tell the doctor I'm feeling feverish mm. and then my head and I can't eat yeah. and then they give me my the malaria uh, medication. Mm. So it got to a time croaking was not working the way it yeah, should yeah. be. So yeah. they changed it, I remember they changed it to consider. So when I go and the doctor gives me So you are not an expert on malaria. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know but all of these course, things. patient is the expert. In fact, if you're not, if you're, if you're not, you don't understand your condition when the doctor can't understand you. Hey, what you tell a doctor is what he's what? going to use. Really? So when you lie, he will also <laughs> give you treat you <laughs> false, false. Okay. So oh, I see. I didn't know that. I go yeah. and I tell the doctor. Yeah. Chloroquine is not working. So I so when you give me chloroquine, I'll tell you it doesn't work for me. Wow. So I won't fancy that. Then some of them will change. Mm. Then another one came. I remember Lazin came. So one day I visited this lady doctor. Mm -hmm. She was quite good, and she did uh, her things and yeah. then she gave me. Fancy that, and I told the fancy that I don't know soon to where I should go. Mm. So, in my mind, I've made up the yeah. idea was when I go home, I'll come back and take my allies, yeah. which is the, the one I think will work for me. So, after three days' course, I came straight back to, to meet her and told her I didn't work. I and see. She screamed at me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you think medicine is all about drug, drug? It is your mind. Hey. Your mind, if your mind doesn't accept the medicine, it will not work. Hey. So she told me all of that and told me to go back. I and see. After three days, the medicine is still doing its work. Oh, okay. So I went to him and never came back for the medicine. I was well. Ah, seriously? Yes. So what kind then, of magic happened? I realized that <laughs> so, so the mind is, is powerful. I and see. It can happen. It affect your health. Yes. I see. So I told myself. We were going to explore the mind. So that has <laughs> occupied my mind. I see. But unfortunately, during our time, nobody to guide you. Of course. The yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody was going to the training college. And, school. and you also so went. I, went to the <laughs> I didn't even know I could go to the university with the grades I had. I see. So I went to the training college. Uh -huh. Whilst Teacher I was teaching training there, college, yeah. I saw that we were teaching psychology. As well. I, at a training, training college. college. Oh. It's part of the course. Uh -huh. Learn educational psychology. Educational psychology. Then I became interested. I see. And so I studied with all my heart. Mm. I did well. Mm -hmm. Then from there, so psychology had been occupying my mind. Yeah. Then I went to teach. But I didn't know where to get psychology <laughs> in, in, in yeah, this part of our world. Yeah, yeah. And then my plan originally was to study agri-economics. Okay. 
Okay. So I applied. You need to, to agree at, at Okay. Interesting. So, applied, uh, so, so, so you see, uh, he will, from a Greek to teacher training college, he got interested in psychology. He will come to university and come. I was going to do a Greek. <laughs> I was at going where? to do a Greek in 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 Lagos. Oh, okay. So no, initially I was going to take because I think I. So I was going to take. I see. I went there. I, I bought the forms. I went there. They told you can't do a Greek. Why? Because you are not a science student. Oh, but you read a Greek in school. By then, if you're not a science student, you can't do a Greek at the university. Hey, which Except one is that? Cape Coast. They were accepting those who did a Greek at any school to do a Greek. But so what were the Greek people supposed to do at the university? Maybe go and maybe go and do some go and farm. I go to the Greek colleges. Oh, or I do see. some other things. So interesting. But I now told it them, has changed. It has changed. Now those who read a Greek in secondary school do science programs ah, so in that addition. they can, it can yeah. facilitate. So I they see. told me I, I need some science yeah, courses. courses. So I went back to study science. You chemistry, did? yes. To study chemistry. Mm. One year wrote it fast. I went and they told me again that ah. I need two science subjects. So I didn't know this part of you. So they told me <laughs> you can't. So it was at the last part of yeah. admission. So yeah. I said, what do I do? So I ran back to uh, Workers College in Kumasi to buy legons from... I see, that matures to come and, No, 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 the normal one. To come really? and try legons. Okay, okay. okay. I'm not going to legons. Yeah. So when I came to Legon with my Greek, yeah. they, fortunately, they were just processing the, the admissions. Yeah. So I went to admission office and yeah. I told the gentleman, the gentleman told me, no, you can't do a Greek here. Oh. So I asked him, what, what can, can you do? do? Oh. Then the guy told me, we can do a lot of courses. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, then he started right. mentioning economic psychology. I said, hold on here. Yeah. <laughs> psychology. Then that's how. Really? Yes, to say. Because it, it, it was frustrating. Okay, okay, yeah. You the moment I yeah. mentioned it, yeah, I yeah. told him, yeah, do psychology. I see. So you did psychology with what? With philosophy and linguistics back then, three courses. Ah, you did linguistics? Yes, I did. I see, I see, I see. That's nice. Then along the line, I dropped it. Oh, for you couldn't, you couldn't contain that. Because they were asking me to do some kind of languages that <laughs> you didn't want to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I now moved on to psychology and then philosophy. philosophy. I see. So I moved oh, on to psychology. So the philosophy also helped you to, to yes, think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> While you're coming to work on people's so minds. I did that. Yeah. Uh, was on study. Okay, you were a teacher. Yes. So, okay, so all these struggles you were going through, you were actually teaching. Yes, so, okay, after I was teaching. College, yeah. And then preparing okay. to come to the university. Yeah, yeah. So, do you remember what you taught? Yes, I first taught at uh, Zabzgo Secondary School. Hey! <laughs> In the North Middle. Hey! Yes. I see! That was my first teaching. Wow. So, I taught there for two years. Came back to school. I see. I see. Okay. Let, let hold it there. Let's take a quick break. We are talking about clinical psychology and and the journey of Mr. Eric Ogusu Kumi. He's a senior clinical psychologist at the Trust Hospital in Accra, and he's telling us his journey and then also what the whole field involves. If you are interested, you too can get into the field. But hold on. We'll be right back after this break. Do you have an interest and passion for the media? Do you see yourself excelling in the field of journalism and multimedia, but you do not have enough time and funds to pursue courses in those fields? That is why the Heritage Christian College Media Training School was set up to give you an opportunity to train yourself for four months and get a two-month opportunity for attachment at Truth TV. With our state-of-the-art studio and newsroom, experienced friendly lecturers in the field of journalism and conducive lecture halls, we offer students the chance to learn on the job with both practical and theoretical lessons. We offer courses in journalism such as newscasting, show hosting, voice training and phonetics, voiceovers, report filing and many others. In the field of multimedia, we offer courses in cinematography, video editing, animations, studio management, master control room management, light and sound engineering, set design, graphic design, photography and social media management. 
We offer intensive one-week courses in communication essentials for professionals. We have both weekday and weekend courses. We are located behind Amasaman Stadium in Accra. Heritage Christian College Media Training School gives you all the tips you need to succeed in the world of communication. Welcome back. You're still watching the Conrado Show live here on Truth TV. This is where we are exploring issues of purpose, passion, and power. Today we have Anak Close, who is a senior clinical psychologist at the Christ Hospital, Mr. Eric Hobusukumi, who is now sharing his story into the clinical psychology field. So you started off as a teacher. And then you went to university to pursue clinical psychology. No, you went to pursue just psychology with philosophy and linguistics. You majored in philosophy psychology. psychology. Okay. And then how did you find the learning? Were you, did it, how should I say, did you find it easy? <laughs> did you love it? I mean, the learning process. I mean. Yes, I think when you have passion for something. Okay, no matter what. Being yeah. there meant <laughs> So once people are struggling, yeah. I can't do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was quite easy. I see. We were just swimming in it. I see. So okay. I didn't find psychology difficult. I see. I see. I see. I see. Although it was challenging. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you have to learn things that are abstract. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Somebody's mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, so that's interesting. Those ones were quite difficult. But yeah. they were practical. Okay. They, are, they were down to earth. Yeah. And so if you're able to connect what you are learning with, Reality, yeah, you can always understand what yeah. is happening. Yeah, and then um, um, from there, you graduated, and what next? So after that, <laughs> you I went steady leave back to, to teach. Okay, I went back. To Where teach. which school was I? I, I taught at. Uh, I went to volleyball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> volleyball. <laughs> Where is that? It's, it, it, it is in the Dangbi. It used to be in the Dangbi West. Okay. Okay. I see the streets. Yeah, so, Dodua so was the nation capital. Ah. But it was closer to Astrari. Okay. Yeah. It was very I, I remember to you were always telling me about Astrari. <laughs> okay. So, I taught there and then I came back to do the master's. Okay. In, so, in you Kikasi. applied to do clinical psychology for the master's at Legon. Yes. And you did that for two years. Five years after the third year. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. Yeah. And um, so, after that, did it automatically make you a clinical psychologist? So the moment is the program trains you mm -hmm. with the principles of yeah. um, understanding the various conditions yeah. that there is, mm -hmm. and then what's underlying the course. Mm -hmm. You also do learn some of the therapies okay. the you use to treat people with okay. certain conditions. So after we've done that for a year, yeah. then you also do one year research because the course mandate every clinical psychologist to be a researcher. Oh, okay. so okay. you do the research for one year. I Once see. you are doing your practical, hey, you have to go to yes, so you have attach to attach yourself for one year. I see at least six months for you to graduate as a clinical psychologist. Where did you do yours? So I did mine at uh, the Accra Psychiatry Hospital. Okay, I also did some at Kodebu in various units because you need to get skills from various angles. Hey, so I was at the Benz and Plastic Surgery Center. Wow. Then I think you I saw a lot of things there. there. Also at the psychiatric department. Wow. And so during our time, it was we were now we were still restructuring the course. Okay. So as we speak now, you have to rotate in various departments so that in medicine yeah. you need to know what happens at the medical ward, you need to know what's happening at surgery, mm. you need to know what's happening at radiotherapy because you are going to be working with, with the patient, yeah, patient. from those areas. So by the time you come out, you understand what, what goes on there. Yeah. yeah. So I think the current work situation is, is better mm. or an upgrade of ours. Mm. We struggle a little bit. Yeah. The environment you didn't understand what we were doing. Yeah. And so yeah. yeah. You basically have to tell them who what you are here this. for. <laughs> yes. But recently, yeah. they, they are able to identify. And so, it was a psychologist, you are needed here. Okay. This person ah. wanted to kill himself. This oh. person is not taking medication. This person is scared. This yeah. person is scared of surgery. So, oh. you, you can now go in there, I help see. understand the person's thinking, and then help them to reprocess yeah. and then 
boost in the segment and uh, come back successful. I see. So it's, it's all about the mind. Eh? The mind is a very powerful tool. Ah. It's so powerful. It's the most powerful organ. Hey. It's the most powerful. Are you sure? Yes, you are here because of your mind. Are you sure? I'm calling you so for that because the mind your is mind out. You don't know who you are. <laughs> really? Yes. It's your mind. So, so you see, people can even abuse your mind that you think you are nobody. Oh. It, and it happens to a lot of kids. The parents insult them, yeah. abuse them, and then you are useless. Yeah, you are nobody. Names, yeah. And when they accept it, when yeah. their mind accepts it, that's what they are. Ah, you you cannot become anything. You can't, mm. and then truly, they easy. accept it to be so. But so. when you are able to challenge your mind, yeah. you achieve anything. Nothing mm. is possible. Is it Henry is. Ford? Yeah, the one who made a Ford car. Yeah. He said, uh, "If you think you can, you're yeah. right. And if you think you can, you're also, you're also right." right. Yes, I yeah. have it right. Oh, in your book. Everything. Okay, we'll talk about we'll talk about that. He said, I see. Yes. So you are what you think you are. Oh, as a man thinks, so he is. Cog, something. <laughs> is, is it last? So the most powerful. Yeah. But your mind controls your heart. It controls every other. Oh. Cogito ego sum. I've remembered that. Uh, somebody said that. Some. So it's a Latin term for, you know, whatever you think, you know, that's what you are. I, I love it and. Today you are stressing this this importance um, of our minds and our thinking patterns to us. Now, what are the prospects in this field? Is it because if you go to hospitals, we don't have any place labeled clinical psychologist office. You know this. We don't see them around. We don't know you people. Like if not because it's, I know you personally, I wouldn't know what what the whole profession is about. It's better. It's better now. It's better now. I really? think almost every district hospital has a psychologist now. Oh, I really? Know, yes. I see. Yes. Uh, even Kolebu has close to 20. Psychologists, psych clinical psychologists. Yes. In our time, there was only one. I see. In the whole place. I see. So it's now getting interesting. I see. Because a lot of the conditions have to be now managed. We know that mind. a lot of the yeah. conditions. See, back about 100, 110 years ago, yeah. we were dying of infectious disease. Yeah. Malaria, yeah, 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 and stuff. And the world has a grip. Yeah, over um, those, those, those kind of conditions. Mm. Now, what the leading cause of death mm. are non communicable diseases. Which means what? Diseases that I cannot give to you, like malaria. You know, if I have malaria, ah. head, I get it. You can also get it. I see. Or Corella, yeah. or Ebola. And yeah, those things. Yeah. We are not dying of these ah. conditions. A lot these days. Okay. But now we are dying a lot of non communicable. The ones that uh, lifestyle, some of them are lifestyle based on your lifestyle. Diabetes, you get diabetes, ah, and strokes, and then I see. those conditions. I see. And because of that, you you don't you need people yeah. who can help people to revise and adjust their lifestyle. People say depression is one of the leading causes of yes, death in the world. Yes, because when you are depressed, you can do anything to yourself. Tell me about depression. How do would you know that I'm depressed right now? <laughs> so 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 if, if if you are not a psychologist and have a friend, yeah, you can tell he's depressed. If you know this friend, you can tell that this friend is not okay, right? Of course, yes. just by by mood change, the person, uh -huh. yes. you know that he likes food, <laughs> and, and then you bring him his favorite food, and then, and then he's just he's just watching. Him. Yeah, you you call him anytime he's not sleeping. Yeah, and then some of them begin to talk about negative stuff. I see. So nobody loves me, nobody yeah. cares about yeah. me, my bosses are doing this mm -hmm. to me, I don't feel like yeah. going to work. What about suicidal thoughts? Yes. So I see. Be, so suicidal thoughts are sometimes tricky to identify. Okay. Some of them will be talking about, okay, do you know how the gun works? <laughs> and when somebody is <laughs> talking about that frequently, it's <clears throat> likely that he's becoming suicidal. I see. Or he asks you, the type, this rope is strong <clears throat> enough to hold. Hey! <clears throat> yes. So it means do that. that. Yes, some of them will not come straight to you and say, Yeah, yeah. Unless you tell you, literally, I've been feeling so bad that I wish I'm dead. Uh, uh, yeah. I've heard that. Yes, which yeah. ones are, yeah. my life is not suited. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the person is planning to live his life. Hey! So that's, you said, so that's one thing. When you hear that, that yeah. single expression, yeah. don't let that person be. So you have to you do have what? To, you have to quickly move in. If the person is your friend, it's likely to talk to you about okay. what is eating them up. Okay. Your depression is always caused by something underlying. 
Mm. And then they are being rejected or yeah. they have lost something important yeah. in their life. Yeah. Like number one happens or oh. something this is the only breadwinner or parents or uh, uh, job like closure mm. of these banks. Exactly. Yes, it caused a lot of people to have depression. Wow. And then a lot of depression also happens in marriages. One danger is the youth, the teenagers, the adolescent becoming depressed a lot these days. Because of what? <laughs> because we don't understand them. And they, they don't understand us. <laughs> yes, they don't have to understand. They don't, they don't have to understand us because we came into the world before them. <laughs> and so we don't understand them because there are a lot of changes. Now mm. you hear parents saying, look, my father did this, my uh, father did that, my mother treated me this yeah. way. And so I want to have to train us. And mm. that's mm. a big mistake yeah. because during your time and my time, mm. there were no internet. Yeah, for how many TVs? Yeah, yeah it's after in the whole village, about three of the guys have TV and they go there to go and watch. Yeah, so yeah. the influence of the world mm. was limited. Yeah, so you have only your parents and then the, the two people yeah. you need to look up to. I see, and these people can look correct. Right Here, your child knows things you don't know as mm-hmm. a father. Mm-hmm. You don't, you have no idea what they know, you have no idea what they are watching or what they are discussing, you yeah. don't have any idea. And so when they meet things that they have to make decisions, they get confused oh. because you don't understand. Right, so like, I, I want to go to, to this party. Yeah. You are going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> I want to study. Yes. Uh, I want to study how to. Uh, <laughs> I want to study a program like uh, the computer. I want to be a computer. Yeah. No, no, no. You have to be a medical doctor. Yeah, yeah. You have to. Then yeah. the child doesn't have any passion. Yeah. He has no purpose for yeah. it. He doesn't need it. Yeah. Force him to do it. Yeah. So he does it for you. Mm-hmm. So whilst he's going through that, he's having challenges yeah. because there's there's a disconnect yeah. between his thoughts and his behavior. I see. What he's doing is not what he wants to do. In his mind, he's doing something different from what physically we see him doing. And sometimes he breaks down during the process. Yeah. And he can't come back to you because you are the cause. Oh. And so they decide to move in there. Mm. And then schools have guidance and counseling units. Yes, they are supposed to have. <laughs> they are supposed what? to have one, but some of them are not functioning. Oh. Um, yes, because you go and then most of them are not trained. Mm. They just meet somewhere and yeah. have meetings. And then. Yeah. So we have to begin to look at that. I remember Dr. Tavia. Yeah. There the was this, uh, there was this school inspectorate. Division in that of, was yeah. supposed to exactly. come up with a holistic educational system. Yeah. And I remember we discussed the schools having trained counselors yeah. or psychologists. Yeah. I don't know what has become yeah. that way. Yeah. But I know most schools don't have trained counselors. Mm. Yeah. But you, you consult for the Ghana Education Service on a particular national assessment and resource centre for children with disabilities. Yes, yes. I used That's to, a long I used one. To <laughs> I used to be the GS at a centre yeah. where the Look out for children with special needs. Needs, okay. And then the children have uh, disabilities, yeah. So that they can help them to yeah. move on. So a common condition is a lot of there are a few children that have uh, intellectual disability. Oh. What it means yeah. is that their brains are mm-hmm. not functioning yeah. the way they should function, mm-hmm. and no medicine can correct that. Oh, it's a permanent thing. I see. And so they, they normally have very low IQ, mm. very low reasoning. They are yeah. not even able to let their brain yeah. uh, coordinate other things. Some yeah. of them cannot even eat by themselves. Mm. They cannot even say ah. Oh. They may not be able to say it, but yeah. some cannot even talk. Yeah. Okay. So we assess them and then we help them get placement to specialized schools. Schools, okay. Okay. So there are special schools yeah, like there that. are special schools. Then those who also have so the special schools are there. Yeah. And then Dump. Yeah. Then we also have schools for intellectual disabilities. Okay. So there's one at Claire uh, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I think there's one too at so um, special schools. Special schools one. New Horizons. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. those schools we can send them and then place them there. Yeah. Then there are kids who also have learning disability. Okay. They their brains are okay, but they have challenges learning. Mm. And that challenge can be as a result of uh, attention deficiency. I see. And then some could be because of language difficulty. Okay. Some too could, could be as a result of late maturity or late maturity. They couldn't grow yeah. well. So really? The brain didn't, yeah, some people are not able to grow the way everybody grows. Ah, so what, this, what, this, what this, makes yeah. them not to grow? So, for instance, we expect every child to be able to sit 
mm-hmm. a loan by six months. Okay. You pay by six months. Uh, SBA child school to work. Okay. By one year, you okay. work in. I see. Some work after three years, yeah. four years, and so. Okay. So and those stages, so, you look and at the brain them. is mm. responsible for that. Hey. Yes, they are two. The brain controls everything. Hey. So for some of them, the brain is not ready to make them work. Mm. Yes, and when that happens, the child delays in acquiring the necessary skills to function. I see. So that then we have to help them to um, adjust. And then, so the schools are also supposed to be aware that this child has this peculiar challenge. Yeah. And so we don't uh, bundle them mm-hmm. and then teach them the same way. You should know that in every class, children come in a class not on the same birthday. So <laughs> yeah. in a class where they are all six years, yeah. some are six years just the day they uh, enter class one. Others are six years like nine months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when you are teaching them, you have to accommodate yeah. these differences. Then there are those who have the special needs, mm-hmm. like I said, they, they are quite back. They mm-hmm. find it difficult to learn. Mm-hmm. They can't even pronounce words yeah. like certain things. So yeah. you have to give them specialized educational plan. So whilst you are giving everybody five questions to solve, mm-hmm. you have to give them two. Mm-hmm. That's the only way they can also function. But That's if you it. give them the five, they will keep they are they are still going to be having difficulties and that will worsen their challenge. Okay, so wow. when those interventions are put in place yeah. and then they are monitored, said children are going to pick up yeah. as they do. Awesome. Okay, so let's take another quick break and we'll be back to finish up this conversation with our clinical psychologist, uh, Mr. Eric Pouzukwe. We'll be right back. <laughs> It feels like becoming an entrepreneur aside academics is never going to be possible when you're in school. Mainly because we feel that we are young and we don't have the resources and the guts to be one. But if you believe in yourself and you have the passion to become an entrepreneur, then you already are. Staying ahead in a highly competitive environment requires applying creativity and innovation to every aspect of your journey to becoming an entrepreneur. Presently, entrepreneurship is driven by creativity and innovation to attain business objectives. The explosion in technology, business, entrepreneurship and consumption in this new era is as a result of the ongoing application of innovation. Milton Bell once said, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. So if you are ready to be an entrepreneur, we are ready for you. Hello again. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is the Conrad Show where we discuss issues of purpose, passion and power. We are having an up close with a clinical psychologist. He is Mr. Eric Hosuki Kumi. He is the senior clinical psychologist at the Trust Hospital here in Accra. Eric, let's zoom in on your book. The book is Living Today Now, The Power in Positive Thinking. Living Today Now. The power in positive thinking. Wow! And um, this 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 book, I wrote. Uh, what did I write? Is it the foreword? Yeah, yeah. I wrote the foreword. Um, this is a book that is a masterpiece. To I'm reading a bit of my foreword. Uh, it's a masterpiece to everyone who desires to live a fulfilling life. Um, in this powerful book, living today now, the power in positive thinking. Senior clinical psychologist Eric Hosukumi lays bare scientific, psychological, and spiritual perspectives on this very important determinant of success and happiness in life in a very simple and easy to read style. He is very forthright on the truism in this powerful method of living our lives. Hey, I now remember my own words. The words are echoing back to me. Yeah, so tell us what, what, what is the book about? Yes, mm-hmm. I, I, in, in my practice, yeah. I, think I realize a lot of us live in the past. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so we live yes, in the past. Yes, we, 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 we give so much on what our parents did to us, what our siblings did, what our bosses are doing. Uh, uh, 
spouses are doing, I see. Uh, uh, friends are doing. So what they've done, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. is defining who they are. I and see. most of the time, too, these are negative stuff. Oh. Then there are others who also live in the future. Hey. With fear. <laughs> if you are living in the future with purpose, like with expectation, yeah, it would, but they live in fear. And so now that I'm going to Kumasi, mm-hmm. there will be an accident on the mm-hmm. day, so she needs to not go to Kumasi. I see. And so even if I apply for promotion, mm-hmm. this job, mm-hmm. we will be sorting people. Hey. So always the future is <laughs> bleak. <laughs> Okay, yeah. but then the human being is designed, it's a, it's a present tense. <laughs> really? Yes. We should live in the we present. We are here. Tomorrow will not be here. Living today, today now. now. Take okay. you within 40 mm. seconds. Oh. Land owners became yeah. <laughs> homeless. Nobody. And then fathers Yeah. Became, lost, yeah. So you, yeah. Not, you don't have a child, you're not a father. Yeah. yeah. Then children became, mm. you don't have parents. Yeah. Yet. So... Most because it's today as we sit here, mm. it's fun. Mm. We don't know what tomorrow will be. So why do we jump today and go into tomorrow mm. and then play with all the dirty things we yeah. have? Yeah. Why do we go back and look at all the pain yeah. and the disadvantages that we've gone through? I see. I remember my maths teacher used to kill me a lot in, 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 in DHS. Because you weren't good at maths. That that's predictable. <laughs> But you've come to do chemistry. Because he didn't understand to... my mind, the way my mind works. <laughs> and he, he didn't know you were coming to work on people's mind. And I met him, we had a, a post event staff and he was there. And oh. he was surprised. Yes. He, is... he, he told me I was good, but then I was lazy. So he was killing me for the lazy. Of course. course. That's, so so that's, that's after some time, that's why he remembers yes. that his laziness he was killing me. So now when I think he... about the past, yeah. I think that he was a good person. But those that I think he was a wicked man. Was it Einstein who started speaking at age four? So by age four, he wasn't even speaking, yes. but he became one of the world's yes, greatest yes, scientists. Yes, I'm told his mother showed him a letter from the school. Yeah. Letter. Yeah. That your child is unintelligent <laughs> and he cannot function, so come and pick him. Uh, oh! So, yes. So, he, the mother had to pick him from school mm. and homeschool school school him. him. But he never mentioned his best son. That yeah. is powerful. Yeah. Because that could have killed the spirit of the boy. I see. He told him that the school is not good for you. <laughs> I can teach you a lot oh. better than that. And that was a good reason for the boy to be home. Yeah. And he knew, he thought that there's no problem. And then the mother wanted him to be home. Yeah. And then that he would have been thinking yeah, about, about the problem that the teachers created yeah. for him. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. we have to live in the present. Yeah. We have to live in the present. When yeah. there's a party, let's yeah. enjoy the party. There are people who seated right <laughs> in the party. We are thinking and they are about. thinking about something bad somewhere. <laughs> they are in the party and they are thinking of the last party that it didn't go well. <laughs> but, and while they are in this party, they are thinking about whether the next party will go well. <laughs> so they miss out on the present. My camera man is shaking their hands. They, they miss out on the present. <laughs> but the present sometimes has a wonderful gift yeah. for yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. We miss it out. And yeah. the funny part of it is, yeah. after missing out on this present day, so yeah. today, yeah. if you're not laughing today, then today becomes yesterday. Then you'll be like, oh, I should have, I should have laughed yesterday. To me. Because yesterday the place was party, it was, it's gone. Now you are beating this yourself can up. Control. Uh, you are beating yourself up for something you didn't do. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. why would you just start laughing yeah. right now? Yeah. Instead of talking about yesterday, how yeah. bad it was. Yeah. And drive from mm, the goodness mm. of today. So we should we should learn from the mistakes of the past, all right? I mean, I'm a historian, and so <laughs> we should learn from the past. We should plan for the future, mm. but we should, we should live today. I love that. That's a live. powerful <laughs> way. Today to, is the only day yeah, you, have you have control. Tomorrow oh, is not yours. In fact, if the next one second we yeah. don't have control over exactly. it. Yeah. So. I, Every moment, enjoy it. Yeah. So if there's banku in front of you, you can't me. <laughs> Please go and get me some. Go and get me some. Eat it with passion and enjoyment. <laughs> if you are learning right now as a student, learn with passion and purpose. Yeah. If yeah. you are asked to perform anything, yeah. do it with passion um, and purpose right, right now. Don't be looking mm. at what you could do oh, tomorrow mm. because that day will never come. Yeah. It's not yours. It's not yours. It's not predictable. It's, it doesn't lie in your hands. So that is the purpose. That yeah. is the foundation of it. I see. So I can see uh, contents, you know, chapter one, the power of the mind, then chapter two, the benefits of positive thinking, the next one, positive affirmations, the power of positive words, 
core beliefs underlying assumptions and automatic thoughts and healthy thinking styles, the power of control, why worry, and developing resiliency and a fighting spirit, identifying negative thinking, focusing on positive thinking, positive thinking quotes, and then positive affirmation. Because what, what's positive affirmation? I, I tell myself I'm intelligent. Oh, even if you are not. <laughs> because because that's a positive thing. I so see. you need to what affirm it. Okay. Daily. Yeah. So any good thing about yourself mm. or any good thing you want, you have to affirm it mm. daily. Because Eesh. what you say yeah. goes back into your mind. Let the poor say, I, I am rich, rich. because of what the but Lord the funny thing. has done. There are people when you tell them they are rich, you say, me, I'm not rich. Uh, I'm not rich. I used to do that a lot. The one who tell me, I'm a big business man, you know. Okay, so right now, I'm a big tell man. me I am rich. Yes. And, and then I will accept, accept it. it. And I will keep saying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah. And it's when, patterns, yeah, the mind is patterned in that way. Because the mind is like a wardrobe. I see. The mind is like a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. When you use a particular cloth in yeah. your wardrobe, yeah. more frequently, yeah. it's always somewhere you can find it. I see. If you don't use a clue for a long time, you didn't forget you have it. It's true. But the day you go back into your wardrobe, you realize, like, hey, oh, it's so I still have this. It. It's true. So the more you use words, you are working on our minds. The, That's how we all view. Are here at the surface <laughs> of your mind. So yeah. those words are always available. So yeah. when someone tells you you are dumb, yeah. you are useless, mm. you have intelligence right at the top. You just pick it up. I see. And you use it. I when see. you meet difficult situations, yeah, yeah. because you have it right on top of your wardrobe, yeah, yeah. this particular yeah, dress yeah, of that, intelligence, exactly. you pick it and yeah. you use it. But if yours is, you're always thinking about the negative, negative stuff, things, all the bad things yeah. you say about you, yeah. you're not handsome, yeah. you're not beautiful, mm -hmm. you are useless. Uh -huh. When you miss a, a, a challenging situation, yeah. the first thing that comes into your mind is you're useless. Mm. And anybody who's useless cannot overcome the yeah. challenge. Yeah. Or attacks. Wow. Um, this I want to continue hearing you like <laughs> the mind is I don't want always just to finish your talking mind about also it. as a garden. And for every garden mm. you plant there. If you don't plant, something happens to the garden. Ah, weeds grow. Of course. And nobody <laughs> likes weeds. Uh, so if your mind if you don't put the good things in your mind, hey, it will come up with the bad ones. Really? But the truth is what people see and what you hear, they are uh, they are all getting they in, are in our mind. So I if see. you don't put something there that you want yeah. to be there, the ones that you don't want which yeah. are there will grow. So feed your mind with positive things, right? Positive things. I what see. you want. I see. Okay. So I tell see. yourself you can. Tell yeah. yourself you are going to do this. Yeah. Tell yourself you can do it yeah. and start doing it. Yeah. Once you are doing it, your yeah. mind is supplying you with the stuff that is still there. Wow. But if you're not doing it, it will mm -hmm. come and remind you that you, you are nobody. Mm. Okay. But your mother even told you, oh, you can't be anybody. Ah. And your mother told you, oh, my bread is yeah. there. Yeah. So yeah. you start coming. Yeah. When you struggle a little bit, the yeah. things we hear, they yeah. come back to us. Yeah. And when they come, they are coming to make us more miserable. Oh, so when you read a book that is good, yeah. be playing it yeah. in your mind, yeah. and be telling other people about it, oh. because they said the best way to learn yes. is to teach. Is to teach. Okay, I love that. The best way to learn is to teach. And today, I mean, I, I saw a quote somewhere that I was just about posting on my status, and uh, it's about start. Yeah, and that's exactly from where you pick. I mean, you left off. Start. Start now. Start where you are. Start making progress. Start with what you have. Start with all your insecurities. Start with what you already know. Start moving towards your goals. Start and make mistakes. Start small. Start now. Just start. Living today now. So where do you get copies of this book? Uh, you can give me a free some, advert. <laughs> you can get them from the Legon Bookshop. Okay, and the Kingdom Bookshop. Bookshop. Okay. And there's a shop in Laboni. Uh, okay. The Bookshop. Bookshop. Okay. Good. You can also, let me quickly say something because yeah. you have purpose, passion, and power. Yeah. Uh, Which you love. People, I can see you love it. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of people consider failure as a bad thing. Okay. okay but we all don't like failure at all. Don't like so don't, but that's the only <laughs> way you can learn. The best you. That's yeah. the best you. But in fact, it is the perception of failure that's yeah. the problem, not failure itself. Okay. 
it's an important thing when you feel you can't do anything. Again, yeah. But when you feel and you know why you feel, yeah. you can move on. But you ne- you're definitely not going to use the same route yeah. you use under you. Yeah. There, there, there's this idea where three kids, okay, we're all given a box mm. to open because there's something inside that yeah. will make them happy. A dog. Mm. So the first child was struggling yeah. and struggling to open it. Mm. Then the second child, look at the way the first child is struggling. Yeah. And she burst into tears. Mm-hmm. She looks at someone's video yeah. and she doesn't try it at all. At all. And we do that a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, in her family, yeah. you can't be business owner. No. Mm-hmm. Everybody who does. Anybody who <laughs> tried to be a lawyer in her family didn't happen. We killed the Anybody person. Anybody who <laughs> tried to build didn't happen. No. So we don't start at no, all. we won't do it. Then the second child yeah. kept doing it. Yeah. Doing it and then Ula. Wow. So upon several yeah. failed attempts, attempts, the person became successful. The person became successful. Yeah. yeah. So we can only say you are successful after you have come out of the woods. Yeah. Hey, if you are yeah. struggling, nobody yeah. will say you are no, successful. No, 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 nobody so is when you keep <laughs> struggling, yes. then the opportunity comes for you to become successful. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Someone says success is based on our individual efforts. Mm-hmm. Not gifts mm-hmm. from anybody. I see. Not what your father do. Mm-hmm. It is your mm-hmm. personal individual efforts. efforts. Yeah. It's what success is. Yeah. So if you're not doing any effort, mm-hmm. <laughs> we, can't, can't we can't. We <laughs> can't say you're successful. I, I love that. So, finally, finally, um, if someone wants to contact you, how should they reach you? So they can. We have a social media page that. that you post stuff. Yeah, we are not a social media. Yes, yes, I'm trying. I'm trying to actually get a social media consultant to manage me. Please, I because will do that. I, I, <laughs> Free of charge. I remember I've mentioned it to you before, like, hey, and then I brush it off. Now you are repeating uh-huh. it right so on I my think show. Our viewers are listening. <laughs> so they are when they hear me talking about it again, then they are going to okay. arrest you. That's so, fine. Yeah, that's one of the things yeah. I'm trying to look at. But what about then, uh, Phone number. Yes, so I have a phone number. You can reach me on zero two four four eight six eight four seven nine. Zero two four four eight six eight four seven nine. Yeah. If you call this number, it doesn't come. You can find me at Trust Hospital yeah. every day, mm-hmm. Monday to Saturday. Hey. There. Yes. Wow. So that tells you how much people are struggling. It's true. Yes. Then the last one. Yeah. I think you wanted to talk about. Yeah. Is it uh, is the profession? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Please do. Uh, is it, uh, it's, a, it's a growing profession. Yeah, the prospects in the, the profession. The prospect yeah. is great yeah. because people have issues with trust these days. Yeah. Back in the days, you could trust your uncle, yeah. you could trust your cousin, yeah. but now the competition is so huge mm-hmm. that nobody trusts anybody. Mm-hmm. So you don't know what your uncle is going to use the information you are giving him. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, yeah. so people are looking for independent professionals. I see. I, my work is you pay me for your trust. Hey, that's that's basically what is happening. This work. Hey. People tell us <laughs> deep seated secrets, I things see. that they've not shared for forty years, yeah. but it's eating them up. Wow. Because now you can't tell his uncle. He's scared. The uncle will kill him. I see. Like, yeah, yeah. See, Those things. Your friend, but you're not sure mm-hmm. that your friend will take your boyfriend yeah. or your girlfriend from you. <laughs> you're not sure whether. The person will take your job. Yeah, so yeah. But when you talk to a professional like the psychologist okay. or counselor, so people pay you because of trust. Yes, that is the job. It's confidential. When you come and see a psychologist, mm. everything you said is yeah. held the in way confidence. as if it is still in your head. Yeah, I see. That's the beauty of it. Wow. So because of the way this our social system is changing, yes. people are looking for people to talk to. Yeah. After people come and then just one session, they talk and then they tell you they are okay. Yeah, okay. Just, just by, by talking. talking what is eating them up. Wow. So join us and let's help yeah. the many people who yeah. are going through this trauma. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't talk to anybody yeah. at all. Yeah. I love that. Thank you very much. Mr. Eric Hosukumi. He is a senior clinical psychologist at the Trust Hospital in Accra. And he's saying that there are other clinical psychologists at hospitals. I mean, he says every district hospital um, has a clinical psychologist you can go and then uh, if you need help maybe a referral uh, he can lead you to some of his colleagues other places that you can talk to and this is going to help you alleviate your your health conditions that are based on your mindset 
the way your mind is conditioned. It is very important. That's the most, the most, you know what, the most uh, powerful organ in the, in, the, in the human body. And so you must not toy with it at all. We all have been through situations that we needed somebody to talk to. And so people like that have specialized in this particular field of talk therapy. And you can open up to them. The show was brought to you in association with the Conrado Group. Uh, if you want to have personal development uh, mentorship and also you want us to talk to you about maybe your career path and things that have to do with your personal growth and development, we are the right people to talk to. If you want to travel abroad and you want to write language courses like the IELTS or SAT or TOEFL or GRE or GMAT, and other courses that you would need for travel, we are the right people to talk to. We are also good at helping you with multimedia services if you need some, like videography and photography for your occasions. And then Heritage Christian University College is a university in Amasamanakra. We are the ones to talk to when it comes to your uh, success in university education that is based on entrepreneurship training if you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to go through academics, but still want to train yourself to be an entrepreneur, to be on your own, to do your own business, this is the university to come to. We are admitting for March and April 2023. We also do admissions in October and in January. Just call us on 020-67-3038-2. Truth TV is the platform also for businesses if you are a business, you want to advertise at as low as 500 Ghana cities for the whole month, we have packages for you as a startup person because we want to encourage startup businesses. And if you are a big business and you want to promote an event or some other services of yours, we are the right persons to talk to. Reach us on our social media handles, Truth TV Ghana, and you can also check us on The Conrado Show on YouTube. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Conrad Kakraba. Bye for now.